Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released now as a sneak peek and I'm going to let you know whether or not I want to pick it up, whether or not I already did. I only think I bought one thing though and we'll talk about why I bought that thing because it was for a very very specific reason throughout this video. I hope you're having a great Friday. I hope you have something to drink. I brought sparkling water with real squeezed fruit. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm very excited to let you know that the beginning part of this video is sponsored by Scentbird. I love Scentbird. I have my own Scentbird subscription where I every month get a scent and just try it out and let you know about as well which ones I got. So this is a service that I myself really enjoy and that I have been using for a really long time. Scentbird is a subscription-based fragrance service where every month you get a fragrance to your door that you have picked yourself. They do not pick for you. You go through their big catalog and you pick out a scent. And they have some well-known brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace. And they also have inner brands such as Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel, which we have a scent from today that we're going to be talking about. It's just a new way for you to discover and enjoy fragrances where you don't have to commit to a full-size bottle of a fragrance that you don't even know if you're going to like. Fragrances are expensive. Some of them are $100. Some of them are even two, $300. Nobody wants to be paying that kind of money without actually trying it out for an elongated period of time to see if it's something for you. Scentbird sends you a 30-day supply of a fragrance that you can use for a full month. If I'm going to be honest, I think it's more than 30 days supply in this so that you can really get a feel for the fragrance and see if this actually is something that you would enjoy. And if you've been on my channel before, you know that fragrance is actually my absolute favorite category of beauty products. I use fragrances every day and I usually wear different fragrances throughout the day and I especially love putting on fragrance before I go to bed. I have special bedtime fragrances and I have special like daytime, daytime, going shopping, going on vacations. I just really love fragrances and the memories that you can create together, linking different fragrances to different memories. Right now, how I am using Scentbird, it is discovering different scents of a group of notes that I have recently fallen in love with, and that is boozy notes. Notes of bourbon, notes of rum. I've really discovered that that is something that I actually enjoy in fragrances. You can go through all their different notes and see if you have a favorite note, maybe it's vanilla, and you can just see whatever fragrances they have available with that note and just rediscover other fragrances with notes that you already love, or maybe try something totally different. Maybe you're like, this is the time for me to try a fragrance with juniper berries. Scentbird could be the place for that. And yeah, these cases are just really easy to open. Like I showed you, you just like click them in here and like, you can reuse them. These are perfect for traveling, perfect for putting in your purse. That's what I do a lot. So let's talk about the first one. This is the Etat Libre d'Orange. Am I saying that correctly? And this is what I'm talking about with some boozy notes. This one has pure rum, pure vanilla, chestnut, wood accord, and bourbon vetiver. What's not to love? So let's see how we feel about this. Mmm, mmm, that woody, almost smoky with the, the rum and the vanilla. Mmm, this is a very grown up, definitely, according to me, a unisex scent. I would wear this. I'm sure my husband would love this. My husband loves smoky perfumes. Mmm, this is a perfect going out, going to dinner, going to a date, or maybe bedtime fragrance. Very strong and demanding, but still a little bit of vanilla. Next one is Checkmate by Mind Games. And this is a new brand to me. This one has champagne, mm, magnolia, rose Bulgarian, tabac, bourbon, and santal. Again, it is two very boozy notes together with some more woody. And then there is some floral in here. And I actually usually do not like floral perfumes at all, but I can like rose if it is mixed well. Oh, this is, mm, the champagne is giving it a little bit of a, a spritz, but almost like a bitter spritz. Oh, this is very unique. I don't know how to explain this, but th I definitely smell both the rose and the champagne. This smells like a cocktail I would like to have. Last time is Confessions of a Rebel, and this is Get a Room, and this is another group of fragrances that I really love, which is fruity fragrances. I love a good fruity fragrance that is not too gourmand. And this one has red apple, mandarin, cypress, liquid vanilla, and cleary sage oil. And these are all things that I really enjoy. 
So we're gonna... This smells like just peeling in a mandarin. The opening is peeling a mandarin. And I feel the red apple as well. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is very fresh. Very fresh. Very mandarin. And I'm wondering if the, the cypress and the cleary sage oil is just going to give it a little bit of like earthiness when it tones down a bit. Mmm. This very zesty, very fresh, loving the mandarin. If you want to try out Scentbird as well, you can use the code ANGELICA55 off to get 55% off your first order, making your first fragrance to try at Scentbird just a little over $7. This is available in the US and in Canada. I am, again, a very happy Scentbird customer. I really enjoy trying out new fragrances. So thank you again so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. And I did film this look. I filmed it for Instagram. I'm super excited. I might put it up here as well. Sometimes when reels are short enough or if I'm able to use music or sounds that work for YouTube, every platform is different. I put it on all the platforms, TikTok, Instagram, um, YouTube. Sometimes I have to change things. It all depends on how much time I have, but I try to put my shorts at every place possible, depending on what is possible. But I did use the Ultraviolet, the palette that launches today together with the Dead Roses palette. I'll pop up some swatches so you can see how they swatch. But this palette is the one that I did this look with and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I did not have any problems working with this. Pretty usual like Bella Beauté bar formula. You can use my code and get some money off. But these two palettes launch today on the 26th. I will of course be doing a look with the other palette as well. It looks absolutely stunning. So I am very, very excited that these are launching today. I'm also wearing a new foundation today. I'm actually wearing this one. Never in a million years did I think that I was going to buy the Polar Society foundation, but I will say it looks amazing. It's been getting a little hype on TikTok and I apparently am very easily persuaded. I also wanted to let you know that our trip to Italy has been confirmed. There are still spots open if you want to join in. If you want to hear more about it, there was a video on Tuesday. If you want to listen to it, there's also some links in the community tab. But why I wanted to bring it up now is that I created a group chat where we can chat a little bit on Instagram. So if you wanted to join in on the group chat, I do have a post on the community tab where you can join the Instagram handle and I will add you to the group chat. Don't do it here. Do it in that community tab so that I can actually like uh, catch you so you don't get like lost in the shovel. And even if you haven't booked a trip, you're thinking about it, maybe you're just interested, maybe you just want to chat with some people and see if this is for you, make sure to drop your handle in that post in the community tab and I'll add you to the group chat. We're already having a bunch of fun discussions and I cannot wait. I cannot wait for all the gelato and all the pizza and all the pasta. Okay, let me scoochie scoochie. I'm wearing a dress with my Halara sweatpants. True YouTuber life. Let me scoochie scoochie and we can talk about the makeup news. Oh, I actually had to move the chair because my butt was about to fall off and onto the floor. I also wanted to mention this one because I am wearing this one today. Look at the glowy cheeks. I did add a little bit of highlight, but I'm actually wearing one of the blushes from Merit. And I remember reviewing one of these blushes. It was like a terracotta peach and I didn't really love it, but I'm wearing this red today. And what I've noticed with these is they give a really beautiful glow on the cheeks, but they're not tacky. They feel a little creamy but not sticky. That's what I wanted to say. But I mean, this bright color gives this flush that you're seeing right here. And then I have a little bit of highlight on, but it does give really glowy cheeks. So for me, I like this one so much more than I like the light one. And it's because the light one just didn't show up on me. These are very sheer. I used a brush. I went in with a brush on this one and then on the cheeks. Worked really, really beautifully. I actually really like this one. I got sent this one from Merit and so far, Dare I say that this is the product from Merit I'm liking the best so far. I can't believe they're still sending me PR after that eyeshadow fiasco. But yeah, that one is available now. I will link it down below. There's actually quite a few brands that have released new shades in existing things. And I thought that was interesting because I love when brands do that. When they have a product that is like really popular and people really love it and they just release a couple of more shades. I love that. I love that. And I am really excited to see that that's like their get brands keep doing that because I just feel like that's such a good idea. Let's actually talk about the thing that I did buy then because I bought this 1 million percent because of the name. I have never tried a uh, Thrive cosmetics before. I've never tried them, never have I even thought about it. It's never like really been my thing, but they released another color in the sheer strength hydrating lip tint. These are $26 each, but with taxes and shipping, they were like $35 plus. And I was like, okay, well that was an expensive lip balm. They named 
it Kaisa. And if you didn't know, Kaisa is my pupper. Uh, she's our second dog. We rescued her one and a half year ago, like not last summer, but the summer before. Somebody abandoned her in our neighborhood and we took her in and she took a liking to, well, us and to our other pets. So we decided to keep her and her name is Kaisa. And so is this new lip balm. And I was like, I need it. So I bought Kaisa. It's the most expensive lip balm I have, but I, it's this is, I've already decided this is gonna be a purse lip balm. I'm very excited. I, I fell for it. I fell for the name. I hope I love it. <laughs> it's an expensive lip balm. Oh, I did actually buy one more thing. Hold on, hold your horses. I did buy another thing, and that is that I bought the new, and we've talked about these before, but now they're available. These are the Pout Clout, honestly, great name, lip plumping pens by Elf Cosmetics. Plumping, ooh, wait. Hold on, are these like hurting? One all-in-one lip plumper, gloss balm that drenches lips, blah, 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 blah. Invigorating tingle, oh, son of a gun. Did I just buy, oh, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Ooh, they say tingle though. Invigorating tingle. Oh, I really hope that this is not like super painful. Oh, that, oh no, oh no mistakes have been made. I really did not see that. I missed that. These are $8 each. I bought two colors. <sighs> are they going to be hurting? Well, I will we'll do a first impression. I love doing first impressions on lip colors over on like TikTok and Instagram. And we will see if it tingles. I will let you know, of course, as well. Uh, it's actually out for delivery today. So I will let you know it is available now. I really hope it doesn't hurt. Oh, I missed that. That is a bummer. <laughs> that is a bummer. We've also seen that Glamlight is doing a collab with Betty Boop. This was uh, announced on Friday night, I think last week, because I was in a Zoom call uh, with my members when this was being announced. And I think that this could be fun. I feel like this could be a makeup like style or like a makeup a color. What am I trying to say? Like a color scheme that Glamlight hasn't really um, dove into as of late, which is just classic glamour. So I'm very excited to see what this is going to be. I have n myself no like attachment to Betty Boop as a character, but I know a lot of other people do. I am actually very excited about this. They are launching this February 2nd, which is next Friday, which is also going to be really fun. We'll talk about it in the next week's episode. So that's exciting. You can use my code and you will get 15% off at the Glam Life website. And I put up a picture where I was like, you know, I'm talking about even though today I'm not doing that, but I thought purple eyes, red lipstick was maybe a little much, at least for today. I said that I'm trying to do more red lipsticks in 2024. And I put up a picture in my stories. And before they announced this collection, Anthony, who works for Glamlight, sent me a DM and he's like, oh, then you're going to be excited about a red lipstick that's coming really soon from Glamlight. So, I mean, we're seeing here as well that there is a red lipstick, but I'm excited to see what this collection is going to be. So far, we see that there is a palette, a mirror, and lipsticks, because I feel like they could be tapping into a color, like combination of colors that they haven't done in a while, that is more like classic glamour and not like super bright one. I love super bright, but also like for the brand, it's nice to keep it like versatile, keep it, keep it fresh, keep it something. Didi Signature also released a new palette today. We talked about the quad uh, last a week, well, they released it on Thursday, today, as I'm filming this, but it's already available. They have released a new Blooming Basket collection, and also the quad that I talked about last week is part of this launch, plus a new palette, and it has her new matte formula. So she had a decent matte formula before. It wasn't my favorite, but it was more like, this is good, this is workable, but I would like it to be even better. And again, I love when brands take in constructive feedback and they're like, listen, I can do better. So she has upped her matte formula and I cannot wait to try her matte formula. I will of course be doing that. It looks like a really fun, bright palette. It makes me ready for spring, even though I haven't seen the sun in like two weeks. Hello? Did you forget about us? It's your friendly Swede living in Texas, looking for a little ray of sun. It's really gloomy here and has been for two weeks. 
But I'm excited to try it out and especially I'm excited because I want to try out the new matte formula. I'm wondering if this isn't the product that I'm maybe the most excited about because it's like all new and I love Fenty and this is a new uh, baked highlighter. It is a Baked Formula Fenty Beauty Dem Demi 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 Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters. This new highlighters has a delicate glow, which tells me that it's not going to be her other. She has a very beaming highlighter, and then she has a glitter highlighter, and this is going to be a more delicate glow with a baked texture. There's going to be nine different shades, and I think that this looks delicious. I love a glowy cheek, I really do, but I like it to look. I don't, I'm not into sparkly right now. Right now, I'm not into sparkly highlighters. I used to be, I'm sure I will again in the future, but I'm very, very intrigued by this. Like, what is this? Is this gonna be one of those, like you can dust it on all the high points of your face and it's gonna look like believable? I'm so intrigued by this. It's coming soon. I will let you know. Once I know, I will let you know, but very intrigued. I'm also very intrigued by the new upcoming foundation from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Hydra Glow. HD Skin, the foundation from Makeup Forever, still one of my favorite foundations. It is so beautiful. It's so trustworthy. It is a medium, like medium to fully, I can build it up a little bit, but like a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish that looks like skin in just its perfect state. And I... I'm excited what this is. This is a medium to buildable natural coverage with a glowy finish formulated with hyaluronic acid. It's available now in Europe and coming soon everywhere else. Very, very, very intrigued by this one. And I cannot wait to try it. I will definitely be trying this out. I've been very, very intrigued by complexion products as of late. And I've almost like... Every time I've seen a complexion product that interests me, I've picked it up because I'm like, oh, I want to try it. Oh, I want to try it. Oh, I want to try it. So I think I will be picking up, like, as long as I am interested in that, I will pick it up and I will do some more collected videos on them as well so that you can know which ones are the best and which ones you can quite literally skip. Because there's another complexion product as well. And this one is from Kosas. And this is the Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream. And it is a clean... Well, clean tinted gel cream that's a fresh take on a tinted moisturizer. So it's going to be a light billable coverage, smooth, hydrated, natural finish. But this one has copper peptides in them, which is supposed to be really, really nice for the skin. And I'm like, uh, oh, this is available now. I didn't love the Kosas foundation. The concealer, I think, is wonderful. The foundation, it wasn't for me. The liquid highlighter, it wasn't for me. But this one... I... think I'm gonna pick this one up. I think I'm gonna pick this one up. Because I could be about that. What do you think about my foundation today? I think my skin looks good, but maybe a little glowy. I wonder how this is gonna be throughout the day. I'm very intrigued by this one as well, but I do not need another cleanser, but I think it sounds really nice. And this is the Tatcha, the Matcha Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. I love a good gel cleanser, and this is a soap-free gel cleanser that decongests pores and balances oils without stripping. So this is what I would like. This is clearly for more oily skin because it says it's supposed to balance oils, reduces makeup slip off, for a prime shine free skin it's clearly not meant for dry skin i never have dry skin unless i get some like scaliness when i'm do using tretinoin but my skin never feels dry ever not even in the winter so i think for me this would probably be something that i would really enjoy but realistically do i need a new cleanser no i just got sent a new cleanser the vi uh, vitamin c cleanser by natorium do i need another cleanser absolutely not but i will say it sounds delightful and the things that i have tried from tatcha i've really enjoyed so it's making me a little like a little intrigued but at the same time i don't think i can do it this is intriguing but i don't think it's for me this is a cooling water jelly tint sheer lip and cheek stain and it is a blush and lip stain with a hydrating bouncy jelly textures um I don't think that this is one of those pH adjusting ones. It's just like a tint that leaves a tint on the skin. 
but I don't know if I like want this. I don't think that this is how I like to do my makeup. I like a lip tint, but I don't need a big chubby stick like this. And I have tints that I use right now. I like the one from Huda. I have one from Kiko that I really enjoy. I have a couple from Clarin. I don't, I don't think this is for me. I don't think I like to do my makeup like this. I think there are people out there that are going to look at this and be like, oh, this is so effortless and easy. Like in no makeup makeup, I don't even put foundation on. I just dab this on my cheeks and lips and I'm out the door. Love that for you. That it's not the life I'm living. So I think that I'm going to skip this one. Clearly, it's not meant for me, which is totally fine. It is available at the Milk and Makeup website, though, if you're interested. I just looked at it and I was instantly like, no. I think this is really interesting, but it's also a little bit, I don't want to say confusing. Um, this is a Jelly Slime All Over Highlighter. It is a light reflecting silky smooth formula that comes in two exclusive small batch and it can be used all over. So it's a true silver and a true gold from MAC. These small batches are only 500 per shade. I cannot... Okay, if you're someone who's never worked in the makeup industry, you do not have insight into numbers. Um, this is an extreme low amount. An extreme low amount. Um, me, I own a beauty brand. I own Cinch Beauty. When I order 500, for me, it's too little. So I'm just saying 500 of each is an incredibly small batch of products to the point where I'm like not even sure what the point is. Like I cannot begin to explain to you how little 500 is for a brand as MAC. It's honestly mystifying how small of an amount of products that is. So I don't know. It's already available. I'm guessing it's sold out. Um, that is confusing to me. And I'm also like, who are we working with that's producing makeup in that small batches? Because it is really hard to find someone that will produce even for indie brands in a lower quantity than four digits. I think I forgot to talk about this last week, but there's a new palette from Terra Moon Cosmetics and this is the chem space chemistry palette. I think this is an all shimmer palette, if I'm not 100% mistaken. It's, oh, maybe there's two mattes, two neutral mattes, and then all shimmers. Terra Moon has amazing shimmer formula and really good mattes as well. Like their formula is really, really good. This color story isn't really speaking to me. It's more like put a neutral in the crease and a shimmer all over your lid, which is beautiful and kind of easy effortless. It's just, again, Clearly not the makeup style that I go for. So I wouldn't buy a palette for that because I know I wouldn't use the palette like that. Uh, none of the, I don't know, maybe. I don't know if any of the mattes would be dark enough as a deepening up shade for me because I, again, sometimes we have to be like, we can look at something and be like, oh, that is so beautiful. It's not made for me and I am okay with that. Let's talk about some brands that are releasing more shades in products that they already have. And again, I'm very excited about this. And I'm even like a little bit like, Ooh, should I be should I be looking into this? This one, I, it, my eyes perked up. Like, let me know if you're interested in any of these. All of these are gonna be from Tarte. Tarte released a shade extension of the blush tape liquid blush. So they're coming up with coral and rose. They already had a couple of shades from before. I thought this formula was nice, but a little bit too sheer for my liking. I like a blush that's more sheer, but if you're looking for a glowy blush that's very sheer and glowy, this could be for you. I'm saying also it's a little bit liquidy, so don't use the poof directly on your skin. You might lift your foundation, but it's nice that they're coming up with more shades uh, for sure. Another brand that's coming out with more shades um, is Say, that's coming out with three new shades of their Dew Blush Liquid Cheek Flush. So they're coming out with sweet Sweetie, cutie, and baby. And Say actually did reach out to me and ask me if they can send me one of these new shades. I don't honestly remember which one I picked. I know it was not the cool baby pink. Uh, I know that was not the one, but I know, I think they sent me one of the new shades and one of the old shades. I'm excited to try it out because I've heard a lot of really good things about this. This has been in my wish list at Sephora for months and months i just never ended up getting to it but we're gonna try it out and we are gonna see which one did i pick 
I have no idea, but I'm excited to see more shades. Again, if you have a popular product and people are really loving it, yeah, sure, Ex extend the shade range a little bit, come up with more things. I think that's honestly really cool. Another brand that's doing that, and this one, I thought it was one, but this is so funny. This is from Persona Cosmetics. They are coming up with three new eye pencils. This is three new shades. No, no, your eyes. <laughs> Your eyes are not deceiving you. These are three new shades. It is an earthy brown, a true brown, and a neutral smoky gray. I don't know what to tell you, but you're welcome. One more brand is doing a shade extension and this is Vive and they're literally coming out with a bunch of their different existing products in a new color that is called En Rose. So it's La Vive En Rose. Love the play on words. Love it, love it, love it. So it is an eye wand in the new color. It is a blush in the new color. It is a lip balm and a lip dew. And honestly, the lip dews is one of my favorite lip oil like hybrids on the market. It's beautiful. I have it in Pesca. I absolutely love it. This is like a warm pink, which is if I'm going to use a pink, I do prefer a warm pink. I think it looks beautiful, but it's nothing that I'm like, oh, I need it. I need it. But I think it's cool, I guess. I was going to talk about Tarte, but then I totally lost it. More things from Tarte. They have reformulated the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. They're now vegan and they've come up with a lot of different colors. And look at this orange. I will say though, this orange does not look like a warm orange, but look at that warm brown again. Should I try it? I think the colors, the color range of these blushes, stunning 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 so yeah they've been reformulated and also they also released i think this is the uh, same blush as they had before the man eater uh, liquid blush but this is a satin blush instead of the shimmery one that they had before this wasn't my absolute favorite formula but again there are some really interesting shades in here and i'm like should i should I? I don't know. I don't know. Like, look at that dark purple. Not that I can do that one. That's not clearly not for me, but <sighs> it's exciting, isn't it? I feel like that's exciting. There is a new foundation from Makeup Revolution. I saw this at the Ulta website. And again, I was like, should I buy this? Should I try it? This is the Skin Silk. This is a Skin Loving Serum Foundation. This is a subtle coverage for a second skin effect, which told me this is sheer to light coverage. Soft focus, radiant satin finish. I don't know if radiant is like what I'm going for. I say as I'm wearing a foundation that's very much glowy. I don't know, are you interested in this one? I'm very, like, again, I'm telling you, foundations, foundation, I'm so intrigued by foundations right now. I don't know why, I'm just like, I'm into it. I'm into trying complexion things, like, all the things for the skin. I still love, like, eyeshadows the most, but I've been so intrigued by so many different complexion products. There's also a couple of new eyeshadow palettes that are coming. One of them is actually from Get Stoned, and this is an all shimmer eyeshadow palette. I don't really know how I feel about this release. In a way, I think it's really cute and it seems to be really high quality shimmers. But at the other hand, I'm like, I feel like it might be hard right now, as we are right now in the beauty community, to break in to makeup with an all shimmer palette because I think that this palette is like $45 as well. Let me, let me double check. Yeah, it's $42 and it is an all shimmer palette and it looks really, really beautiful. But I don't, I mean, I prefer non, not doing all shimmer palettes. It's not my journey. It's not what I do. I think it's cool though. The palette is inspired because Get Stoned is a, a brand that sells rhinestones for your makeup. And it's used by a lot of celebrity makeup artists. For example, it is the stones that have been used in the show like Euphoria. And 
it is just it is an influencer like a small business influencer run business and i've met the owner and she's super sweet and i love everything she does but i also wonder how hard it's going to be with an all shimmer palette looks beautiful though and it looks very well thought through and i like to see campaigns and like releases where everything has been thought through would love to hear your thoughts about this i will leave the website down below i think they're doing an awesome job and it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes i'm not gonna buy it myself because i'm not the right person to be reviewing an all shimmer palette but i'm very intrigued if someone i am subscribed to reviews this oh i will be watching l'oreal is releasing a new setting spray this is part of the infallible line and this is going to be an infallible three second setting mist it's going to help extend makeup wear for 36 hours which is great if you're working really long hours or if you're working outdoors like when back when i was a waitress and i used to work in summer restaurants it used to be so warm outdoors and sometimes i would work like 18 hours shifts this would have been absolutely amazing for that it is waterproof transfer and smudge resistant sets instantly i think that this is great especially like if you were working like a job that i used to where i was kind of expected to show up to work with makeup but also expected to work really really long days outdoors in the sun i had a lot of people tag me in this one and i will agree it does sound very intriguing and these are new uh, comfort lip oils from clarins it's three new shades so there is a pink and orange and a yellow and i'm like that yellow lip oil i love the orange too it looks beautiful but it's more like a red orange but that yellow joyful yellow yeah that is amazing it's already available at clarins french site so i'm sure it's coming to the u.s soon but that yellow one mm, mm, mm. yeah i think that that's seems like something i would like oh the other palette that i wanted to talk about is the new palette by color drain i feel like color drain is one of the indie brands that used to be so incredibly hyped during like 2016 17 maybe even 15 16 like the um queen of hearts like the palette was so hyped and i don't really feel like they were able to keep that hype for beyond that and they are now releasing a new palette that's called cam quad volume one it is uh, around 30 dollars you can use affiliate codes i see a couple of ones floating around i don't mind the idea of quads but i don't myself love having a palette like this open it up and see it like put in this way I would have rather see you even either do quads or just do a 16 pan palette you can still put it together like it could still have these like but i just don't know if i love the dead space between i don't hate the idea though of coming out with like quads or coming up being like oh these colors work together but having the dead space behind it there's just something about it when i see the palette open i'm like mm, not sold on the concept don't hate the color story though, but again, it's not super revolutionary. I would have preferred if it was actual quads. Uh, I understand that like producing actual quads would have cost more. Maybe one quad would have been like $18. But I still myself would have preferred that. Let's talk about these new bronzers from Yves Saint Laurent as well. And these are really beautiful packaging really stunning packaging they're coming out in five different shades it seems like they are sweat proof waterproof crease proof and life proof whatever that means 24 hour wear natural sun kissed glow i'm intrigued this could be one of those things if i see it in store and the shade seems like because you know sometimes with bronzers i buy it because i see a shade but i'm like oh that's my shade that's my shade i want a natural leaning brown that's a little bit more on the golden side not orange not red not gray i don't want a cool tone a little bit more golden but not orange that's what i want and if any of these shades look like that i could be persuaded for sure oh this just got sneak peek this just got sneak peek this is the front of the Valentine's box by Unearthly Cosmetics. Embark on a journey through the emotions of love with our Valentine's Day mystery box. <gasps> a celebration of passion, heartbreak, first love, and the delightful full foolishness that comes with being in love. Oh, tell me about it. That is fun. Wait, 12 
full-sized cosmetic items and tools designed for those who crave vibrant bold colors and make a statement 145 us dollars you can always use the code unearthly and get some money off when it says 12 full-sized items cosmetic items and tools i am guessing that the reason why there are so many items is that there are going to be a brush set in here that's basically the only thing that would make sense for that but that is very very exciting i don't know when this is being released i don't see anything here oh it is available pre-order is available now shipping mid-february that's exciting that is exciting for sure should i get this maybe very exciting and i think that's gonna be everything oh let me scooch back don't we feel like i'm getting a little bit too glowy I didn't use a primer on there, but holy bananas, holy bananas. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing Friday, that your weekend is going to be absolutely lovely. You're either going to have a lot of fun activities or get some rest or maybe get some time for yourself. I'm actually having a housewarming party this weekend. That is super exciting. I'm meeting a bunch of friends next week, which is going to be really fun. Oh, maybe I can vlog next week because there's a lot of things going on next week. And don't forget to check the community tab if you wanted to join in on the group chat. And also, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. Don't forget to check out the description box for some info about that as well. Love me some Scentbird. I did actually use one of the scents that they sent to me today as well. Smells amazing. I'm using the Checkmate one. Oh, so beautiful. And yeah, I will see you on Monday for a video about Prada Beauty, which has me shocked. Absolutely shocked. Bye.